ladies and gentlemen, get your snacks and get ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy our production of The Show Must Go Online. Book by Jessica Penzias, lyrics by David Hudson, music by David Casado, and performances by the amazing cast of The Shed, Musical Theater Academy in Panama, brought right to your home tonight. Students, students, I have some terrible news that I need to tell you right away. This cannot wait another single se- Wait, is this recording? Hello? Am I muted? No? No? Okay. Am I talking loud enough? Maybe if I just get a bit closer. Okay, there, that's better. As I was saying, I have some truly devastating information. Our musical's been canceled. You all have worked so hard and I was so looking forward to our dress rehearsal tonight. But now I'm sorry to report our production Brushes with Greatness, the dental hygiene musical, will never see the light of day. The world will never witness your great interpretation of this great American classic. I know they say the show must go on, but in this case, it can't. Uh, that's, I should go, goodbye for now. Okay, now how do you hang up this thing? Um, Siri, end video. Oh, okay, great. No that was entiendo. easy. Hello? Oh, hi, Principal Durbin. Yes, I know the show is canceled. But what? No! The drama department can't shut down permanently. I know the musical was supposed to raise money for next year, but... No, don't go. We can't get rid of the entire pro... Goodbye. <sighs> oh, the video didn't send yet? Maybe if I click this button, it will... S oh my god, did you see that video? Wow, our teacher really doesn't know how to use technology. Most importantly, we can't lose the drama club. We have to do something. No matter what obstacles we face, life mirrors art, and just like in our musical, Bob, Flossie, and Tommy Tooth say in Brushes with Greatness. We don't give up, we don't give in, we journey on, we rise again. Although we face our greatest foe, we don't give up, yes I know, we'll tell the black and I'm speaking to you all from inside my closet where I retreated as soon as I heard the terrible news. I have decided to move in here and hide away from the rest of the world. After all, if there is no musical theater, what's the point of going outside? I will live out the rest of my days nestled amongst my old costumes, my tap shoes, and my signed posters from last year's production of Susical the Musical. I was a great Yertle the Turtle, wasn't I? <laughs> Don't cry for me, former castmates. I'll be fine. I'll be here, tweeting at Lynn manuel Miranda and quietly humming the score to Pippin for the rest of eternity. Good luck with the rest of your lives. So long. Farewell. Ashmit is done goodbye. And scene. Look, we can't just crawl into our closets. We have to bring brushes with greatness to life and save the drama program. I have an idea. So you know how we're all sending videos to each other right now? What if we did a show online just like this? I mean, if you can order Ben Platt's tissue online, you can totally do a show. 
Not that anyone would order a used tissue on the internet. What kind of a person would spend $40 on something like that? Totally ridiculous. I, I know I wouldn't. Nobody would. Uh, yuck. All I'm saying is, you can do a lot online. We could film ourselves and then piece the scenes together to make a full musical. We could... <laughs> idea for how we could get our drama teacher to agree. I wrote a little something. I'm not sure if it's any good, but maybe it could help. I don't usually perform my songs, but we have to save the drama club, so here goes nothing. School is closed, the theater too. What are the actors supposed to do? How do we go on with the show? We rehearsed, we sang along We know the words to every song We are prepared, but where do we go? We go online, set the lights, fill the screen The show must go on, the show must go online Piece by piece Scene by scene, the show must go on, the show must go online So the songs that we can, you make it shy The show must go on, online So, what do you think? That was beautiful I must say I am moved, deeply moved. I'll admit, at first I was hesitant, but after hearing that song, I say we go for it. The show must go online. Please reach out to me with any questions you have about the performances or the technology. I have a Hotmail account and an AOL account. I am very connected. You all have inspired me and given me hope. Now, let the dress rehearsal begin. Okay, Siri, in video. Wait, I mean, Siri, send. That should do it. I wonder how they found out about the drama department being in danger, Mr. Whiskers. Do you know? Me neither. Oh, did you know I performed in Cats once? I was tremendous. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, look, Mr. Whiskers, this never sent. Siri, you troublemaker. Okay, I got this. Send so our teacher sings to cats. Good to know. This mouth is my domain now I wish you weren't around I'm sick of dealing with your friends 
flossing, brushing sound. And then the heroes came to save the day, like no rules will die defying cavities. Keep black goodbye defying cavities. The blue will be pulled down. <coughs> Good, right? Wow, that was some great toothbrushing. Amazing form. Though, I guess it was kind of hard to hear the lyrics. Well, we'll work on that later. I've been working on Plaque Song in the Great Gum Cannon all day. I think I figured out the perfect way to perform it at home. I had some interruptions before, but we're all good now. This is scene three, take six. I like it, you, you, I eat tea. Yes, quiet is the best for me. How I like the lovely hush uh, Away from buzzing rush Oh, fa la la, tra la la shoo -doo 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 -doo. It's quiet time Knock it off! It's quite time for me. Hi, hi, hi! Guess what? I have a dog. This is Luxa. She can sit and stay and um, eat. She eats a lot, actually. She also sleeps a lot. I'd say she's a stellar sleeper. Also pretty great at sniffing and licking things. And just great at being the best. I know this doesn't have anything to do with the musical, but I wanted to show you how cute she is. I mean, have you ever seen anything cuter than this face? That's it. Bye! So, back to the musical. It's your trusty costume designer here. Now, even though our costumes are at school, we can still get creative at home. This is our dress rehearsal. As we discussed last week, our costumes will be all black with no logos and no designs. Yes, that includes your Olaf t-shirt, Toby. Let it go. Now, I have some suggestions for all of you. For Tommy and my other toothbrushes, listen up. I want you to take some toothbrushes like this and tape them to your hands. It's really easy. And now the other one. Well, once you have one on there, it does make it a little harder to get the other one. Uh, you know what? Just just hold the brushes. Just hold the brushes like so, like you're a toothbrush with bristles. Though I suppose if you have to pick something up, you know what? Just get creative, people. Don't let me down. Thanks for the cool costume tips. This next song is an emotional center of the entire story. That heart-wrenching moment when Tommy Tooth apologized. I've been practicing my expressions in the mirror all day, and I think I achieved the Tony Award performance. Now, I just have to capture it on film. But that's easy enough. Here I go. When you look at my When you look at my heart, you will understand I care. If you take a deep look into my eyes, you see a song that never lies. My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes. Wow. That was, um, uh, you, your voice sounded great, but camera work was a bit off. I have an idea that might make things easier. What if Tommy Tooth was played by an actual toothbrush? That way you can really see their full behind while they're singing. Brilliant, right? When you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you. Amazing! 
amazing, right? When you look in my heart, you will understand I care. What a performance! If you take a deeper look into my eyes. Whoops! Bad toothbrush! My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes. Okay, so maybe it's not the best idea. Hello, from your lightning designer. I thought I'd demonstrate some ways you can do lightning design at home. For instance, you can turn the lights on or turn them off. Blackout. If you have a dimmer, you can dim them. And, mm, well, what else? I guess you could have some on and off. And you could use a lamp too. And that's about it. Good luck, I guess. Lights up. Spotlight on me. As you all know, this next scene contains the most important information in the entire musical, which is why I am presenting it for you. It's the big reveal, and the stakes are extremely high. If the audience misses this, the whole show will fall apart, which is why we have to be extremely clear, like so. As we're ready for the start of our biggest battle yet, I'm reminded of the hero who I never could forget, the one who makes the evil forces win. And his name is... What was his name again? Oh my god. Oh, okay, what? He's caring, he's daring, he's everybody's friend. And his name will live forever, I'll remember till the end. I met him once, I liked him ever since. And his name is... What was the line again? Oh my god. Oh, okay, I got it. And his name is... Well, I guess we'll never know his name, will we? This is your stage manager here. We are moments away from showtime. Now, I want everyone to stay calm, okay? Okay, I'm calm. Are you calm? I'm sure you are, because calm is contagious, and I'm totally calm. You're all doing great, really good stuff, but I do have a few tiny little notes before we go live, okay? Okay, one, find a quiet spot to record. Two, remember your lines, especially the important ones. Three, don't sing with a toothbrush in your mouth. I'm begging you. Four, make sure the camera's pointing at your face when they're singing about your face. And five, for goodness sake, don't buy a $40 used tissue online. That's not about the show, but just don't do it, okay? Okay, we're about to go live. Remember, remember, this is just for family and friends, so there's no pressure. Just have fun and... Uh-oh, how is this possible? Is this real? Oh, it's real. Okay, okay. It, uh, some news. It looks like Kristen Bell heard about our show somehow, and she tweeted out the link to our live performance. And she's hosting a virtual viewing party, and over 50,000 people have RSVP'd. But that's totally fine, right? Right. Okay. Places. It's showtime. Ah! Hello to all of our viewers, and welcome to our virtual theater. My students tell me this is being broadcast live over the interwebs. Thank you all for joining. Okay. As always, I would like to remind you to unwrap your candy and turn off your devices now. Oh, a message. Stage manager is telling me that you're actually watching this on your devices. So leave them on, I guess? That's neat. Anywho, some of you have been with us since the beginning. From our first production, In the Tights, a Shakespearean hip hop opera. Those were the days. And some of you are experiencing our drama club for the very first time. We want to thank all of you for your support. And this program means so much to us, and we would hate the thought of losing it <laughs> forever. <sighs> but never mind all that. Without further ado, I give you Brushes with Greatness, the Dental Hygiene Musical. Curtain up! <laughs> I 
ever since a mouth appeared that had some teeth. There's been a silent battle just beneath. And who fights that battle? Well, you've known them since youth. Our heroes, Bob Flossie and Tommy Tooth. Uh-oh, here comes the plaque. I'm enamored with enamels and the gums. Tinted right is this my very best of chums. And the between the two of us, we will attack. If you're lacking dental hygiene, watch your back. Come listen to the brush, brush, brushes with greatness. A musical inside your jaw. Wisdom teeth and holy molars in the cast. Woo! Brace yourself for strain exactly hold it fast. Woo! Welcome to our show. Brushes with greatness. Tommy Tooth? The legendary toothbrush? Is that you? Who's asking? It's me, Bob Flossie, your old floss pal. I haven't seen you since the deep cleaning of 92. When you banished Haley Tosses, she was awful. You were legendary. That was a long time ago, Flossie. I don't clean mouths no more. I'm retired. But we got ourselves a plaque situation and nobody cleans like you. Plaque's too big for me now, kid. There's no hope. I give up. No, I refuse to accept that. We don't give up. We don't give in. We journey on. We rise again. Although we face our greatest foe, we don't give up. Yes, this I know. We'll tell that plaque and ginger vitamin. Brush and floss together, we can keep back the decay. So what do we say? All right, Flossie, I'm in. Hey, it's me, Blake. I think I found the perfect place to live. This mouth is amazing. Look at all the buildup and tartar in this glorious gum canyon. Shh. Did you hear that? No. That's because it's the sound of perfect silence and serenity. There's no toothbrush or floss around. And I'm totally certain they didn't follow me and aren't eavesdropping on me. Amazing. I like it, Q-U-I-E-T. Yes, quiet is the best for me. How I like a lovely hush. Away from buzzing brush. Tra la la, sha la la, shabidi doobidi dees. Quiet time for me. This is the best. I'm so glad I banished Tommy Tooth, Bob Floss, and the most terrible cleaner of all, he who must not be named. I like the food quite sugary. Yes, candy fills my heart with glee. Nothing like a sweet old snack. To give a boost to good old black. That's me. Forget to floss on the bus. Thank you for setting me free. Quiet time for me. My name is P L A Q E. I mean, U E. I'm working on a cavity. My favorite word to fall is neglect. I strike when you least expect. Say yay to K every day, cavity cavity weeds. Quiet time for shh, quiet time for shh, quiet time for me. I cannot deny it, I love it so quiet. The silent is what I enjoy. Hey Tommy Tooth, did you hear what Plaque just said as we were totally eavesdropping? Sure did, kid. Who is he who must not be named? It sounds like he's our only hope at defeating Plaque. Do you know him? Do I? As we're ready for this battle, our biggest battle yet, I'm reminded of a hero who I never could forget. The one who makes the evil forces wince. And his name is Harold. 
Harold Rince? He's daring, he's daring, he's everybody's friend. And his name will live forever. I'll remember till the end. I met a man I've liked him ever since. Tommy Tooth. I knew I'd find you here in the Cannon Cavern. Wait, before I scamper off, just hear me out. I'm sorry about the great peanut butter on the roof of the mouth mishap of 87. I know I blamed you, but I was the one to blame. Now, we have a serious plaque problem and we need your help, partner. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Harold, I know we've been down this road before, and you said you never work with me again. Yes, I know I've made mistakes. It's a tooth I've caused some aches, but know that you will always be my friend. When you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you. When you look at my heart. You'll understand I care, Harold, I do care. If you take a deep look into my eyes, you'll see a soul that never lies. My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes. Oh, Harold, I love you too. Now it's cold to write some plaque. Plaque, why couldn't you have stayed away for once? Harold Rince? Tommy Tooth? Bob Flossie? The dental trifecta? You betcha, and we want you out of this mouth. Forget it. This is my turf now. And I think this tooth is ready for extraction. Don't you? No, not the molar. This mouth is my domain now. I don't want you around. I'm sick of dealing with your flossing, brushing sounds. Leave that tooth alone. Never. Then it's time for battle. Come on, team. No roots will die, defying cavities. Kiss black goodbye, defying cavities. The tooth won't be pulled out. I won't go away to leave. Neither were my friend, Ginger Vadius. Oh no, there's two of them now. You're right, and we're gonna wreck this tooth. Wait, you, you have to see reason. Beautiful. This mouth could be so beautiful. We know every molar and incisor could be clean. Boo, attack, get him! Pulled out. No! We did it! Yeah, Rinse and Spit pull out the gas. This greatness found between the jaws. Together we have saved this oh. Incredible. Truly remarkable. That was the greatest Defined Cavities I've seen since Adele Disney made her off, off, off Broadway debut. Now, I would like to thank you all for tuning in. It means the world to us. And I, oh goodness, I'm terribly sorry. No phones allowed in the theater. I should go. Thank you, thank you all. Hello? Principal Durbin? Oh, you watched? Oh, they did? They do? That's wonderful news, thank you. Thank you for saving the drama club. Of course, we'll be back next year with Greasy, the car mechanic musical. All right, thanks again. Talk to you later. Oh, is this still recording? What's 
up with this technology? It's almost as if I left it on purpose. <laughs> well, since I have you here, kids, if you're watching, thank you. I am so proud of you guys and I'm so grateful to be your drama teacher. And even though you weren't there in person, you still worked as an ensemble and created something so special. And I can truly say that I am so glad the show went online.